guys hope you're doing great our today's question is diameter of binary tree given a binary tree you need to compute the length of the diameter of the tree the diameter of a binary tree is the length of the longest path between any two nodes in a tree this path may or may not pass through the root for example if this is the given binary tree <clears throat> We have to return uh, an output of 3 because the length of the paths 4, 2, 1, 3 or 5, 2, 1, 3, that is 3, right? So that is like the path that has 1, 2 and 3 or 1, 2 and 3, okay? The length of path between two nodes is represented by the number of edges between them. Hence, although the nodes are 4, on this path, the length is three because there are only three edges between these four nodes. Okay. So um, I hope the question is clear. We have to find the length of the longest path that can be formed in the tree. And it may or may not pass through the root, right? Okay. So uh, we can use recursion here. Uh, because only traversing the array um, will not give us the answer because we, there could be various combinations and for each node we have to find the length of the longest sub you know path uh, in its subtree and if we can do that for all the nodes one by one and reach up to the root using recursion we'll have our answer right so so what we will do, like we will start by doing is that uh, key things to understand is that 4, 2 and 5, right? This could be one path and this could be the answer. But when we are finding uh, the longest path for 1, what we don't need to know is this length. We need to know that in the sub tree for 2, which is the longer path, four, no, 2 to 4 or 2 to 5, right? Uh, but at the same time, there could be a case where there could be a path which does not go through the root, but is still the longest, right? So that's why we have to keep track of two values here. One is our final answer, which we'll just, just the way we find a max value in an array, we'll just keep updating it with whatever we have recorded till now. And... The other thing is that in recursion, what we want to return will not be the answer itself. We would want to return the maximum of the length of the left and the right, right? Uh, because we want to reuse this value in building the length of the whole path which this subtree lies on. So that's why there'll be two values that we'll be, one we'll be returning and one we'll, which we'll be maintaining as our final answer for the question. So it's going to be really quick to code, but a good question to understand. So, okay. So anytime you have a value which you want to return from your main function, which but which you want to update with, between multiple calls in uh, some other recursive function, you should always declare it outside all the functions as a global value of the class so that it is accessible from every function and every function call. So initially, that's obviously zero, right? Yeah. And uh, we just have to get the diameter. So we just make a call to this. Okay, uh, get diameter. And we'll just provide it the root. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. And then... Um, in the answer, let's say if the root has is just null, uh, answer would remain zero. So we'll just have to check um, that if my answer is equal to equal to zero, so we have to return this, right? So return answer equals equals zero, then zero. Otherwise, the answer. Okay. No, actually, otherwise the answer minus one reason being that the path will have how many nodes we want to return the number of edges between them. So we'll just have to do a minus one. Yeah. 
Okay, now let's implement this. Get diameter and we get a tree, a uh, tree node root. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, so, fine. So, if my, um, right. So, let's start about thinking what we'll have to do. First of all is the base case, right? So, if root is null, then we have to return 0. Right? It is not a node. Now, otherwise, what we want to do is that we want to find the length of the path that is to the left of this node and the length of the path which is to the right of this node. Right? So we'll just simply do a calculation uh, and just call this on root dot left. Okay. And similarly, we'll do that for the right and call this same method for the right, right? Yeah. So now um, we want to update the answer because it it's not necessary that it has to pass through the node. So we'll just say that answer equals to math dot max of the answer or the L plus one uh, sorry, L plus R plus 1. Because 1, because including this node, right? So whatever is the length for the path on the left subtree and the path on the right subtree plus this node, right? That gives us a uh, subtree's length, basically, right? And we would just want to ensure that the that is not the longest path that we have seen till now. So we just update answer with that. And then we return. So as I was saying that building upwards, we don't, we cannot have a path which has the, the this edge to 2 to 4, 2 to 5 and 1, right? It can only be one of them. That's why we'll have to take a math, uh, max of that. So math dot max of L and R plus 1 is what we return from the function. Yeah. Okay. Um, fine. let's see if that works. Okay. Yeah, it does. So the time complexity for this is O of N because we are traversing each node of the tree once and the space complexity is O of n as well because recursion has its own stack implementation. Uh, it has its own stack complexities of O of n. So I hope you guys find this video helpful and if you do please like share and subscribe. Please keep coding and take care guys.